Good afternoon. This is uh, James Reeves again. Uh, it's 4:20. Yeah, go figure. Uh, April 22nd, 2016. Uh, vlog number three of. I haven't given a, ti uh, a title to my YouTube channel yet. So, if anyone wants to come up with something, uh, uh, hit the comment section on YouTube uh, for my page, and maybe we can figure this out and. Maybe I can send send you something, or maybe, or do something. I don't know something for your time. Uh, Want to talk more about about the Samoa Joe uh, NXT title win uh, a couple of day ago on the uh, NXT live event at uh, Lowell, Massachusetts. Uh, big win by Samoa Joe uh, against Finn Balor, the long was the longest reigning NXT champion, but now Samoan Joe is now the new champion. Congratulations to Samoan Joe. Uh, he will be a great champion for NXT. Uh, there's a lot of things going on with that uh, uh, brand there. Uh, Triple H has done a great job managing it and making it to what he believes to be the future of wrestling and WWE when the NXT talent are ready to be called up. Um, side note, uh, there's been some fan, there's been some fans out, uh, excuse me, fans out there online have been making posters, or if this is legitimate by WWE, I don't know, but a payback, they have a picture of Finn Balor's face with a demon uh, paint on it. So, don't know what that means, which, yeah, I mean, I kind of know what it means, but I don't know if that's legit or or it's not. So I know that after the match, uh, he said that uh, he will see everyone on Monday night, so apparently he is getting called up now. So congratulations to Finn Balor. Um, with the Luke Gallows and uh, Carl Anderson, uh, what's just arrived about a couple weeks ago when they attacked the Usos and then last week they attacked uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, uh, it's going to be pretty interesting in Payback. I can't wait. Uh, the uh, go-home show for Raw next week is going to be really, really interesting to say the least. Um, wrestling fans are going to be excited. I think this is the... I don't think this is going to be the boom that the 96 uh, or 97 to 2000 era of wrestling was what WWE, ECW, and WWE, WWE, WWF at the time. Um, but I think it will transcend to a new era for the fans that they've been clamoring about. So hopefully that will happen. Um, I made an earlier video, but it didn't upload, so thank goodness, because uh, I forgot a couple things I wanted to talk about, and it might be a little bit longer than I expected. So... Bear with me. Um, uh, I will try and get maybe some people on here to talk about certain things, um, either by phone call or hopefully they'll stop by or I don't know. That's I haven't really thought about it yet. Uh, this is just something I want to talk about personally, uh, but maybe in the future if things do get pretty heavy and people start liking what I'm doing. And so far, I have five views on the Samoan Joe thing, so I'm hoping that will transcend to something else. Um, I forgot to talk about Conor McGregor, the MMA, uh, the UFC 200 pay-per-view. Um, everyone know, as of last a couple of days ago, Conor McGregor retired from the UFC, uh, saying. I'm going to retire young. Thanks for the cheese. See you later, basically. And a lot of people in the MMA world, UFC, whatever, uh, the fight world, uh, kind of took uh, uh, took to Twitter or whatever and said their piece or whatever about the Conor McGregor uh, retirement thing. Just a couple, like I say about a day ago, uh, he came on the ESPN and said that he's not retired. He does not want to do the promotional thing. He just wants to fight. Um, coming from a guy who, I mean, I've done some uh, MMA, not uh, MMA fight. I've did some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I I did some 
work for American Top Team in Indianapolis a couple years ago, like I say about five, six years ago. Um, learned a little bit. Uh, I did a little bit in, uh, I learned a little bit over in, uh, over at uh, Dragonfly in uh, Plainfield, Indiana uh, under Sensei Bibi uh, for a couple times and with a f friend of mine, uh, uh, Die Hard Dustin Lee, who uh, helped me out with that, and I appreciate that for a couple times that I've went to. I think I think it was once, or, uh, like I think it was once or twice or something like that. I forget, but it was a good experience, a good learning experience when I was still training for wrestling. But never have fought personally. I can I can understand his passion for fighting. He just wants to get to work and and do what he does the best and that's uh, fighting in the UFC cage. Uh, he's one of the biggest draws in the UFC um, right there with Ronda Rousey uh, uh, as you know he lost to Nate Diaz uh, under short notice but still uh, he suffered his first loss against Nate Diaz which was an incredible fight I finally got to see it um, Nate Diaz uh, just took it to him and, and you know I'm not gonna make uh, I'm not here to be the bandwagon for Conor McGregor I think he's a, a tremendous talent he's a very uh, charismatic uh, he uh, honestly the best trash talker in UFC history I mean bar none I mean you can there's a lot of trash talkers uh, out there but I, uh, in the past present but in Conor McGregor's got to be the first. And it's got to be number one. Um, but anyways, uh, he was trying to um, get back on the UFC 200 and hopefully get that thing rolling with Nate Diaz. But I guess Dan White said uh -uh, uh, he didn't want to do that. So I don't know what to... I don't know where this is going to go because there's a lot of things that were happening that he kind of... I guess he went on Twitter and liked uh, a couple of Twitter accounts of uh, Becky Lynch, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H, and someone else, I do believe. I don't know. That is what I've heard and saw and read. So take that as face value. Uh, do I see him? I, personally, do I see him in the WWE? Um, I don't know. It's hard telling because, I mean, Ken Samrock was in the WWE. Dan Severn was in the WWE before. Um, uh, they had Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania 31 last year, uh, the year, not this year, but I mean, not this WrestleMania, but last year, WrestleMania doing something with uh, The Rock and Stephanie and Triple H. So I, I don't know. I mean, it would be a good addition, I think, for Vince McMahon to add someone of that caliber to the fold. But will he tra will he pick up right away of the pro wrestling aspect, or it's or he's not going to do it? So I don't know. Uh, that's my take on the Conor McGregor thing. Uh, I know there's some MMA fans out there that would love to hear about that. Uh, I need to start watching more MMA, uh, UFC, basically. Hopefully, I will do that here sometime in the future. Um, Baseball news, as you know, uh, Jake Arrieta, uh, no hitter, no hit the Cincinnati Reds yesterday, making him uh, making number two of, um, excuse me, uh, that's number, uh, his second no hitter in his career. So uh, he, Greg, uh, okay, just congratulations to Jake Arrieta. He, this is a special year for. The Chicago Cubs organization. This is a whole organization because last year they made that run to the NLCS and with the young talent they have, Chris, Chris Bryant, uh, Rizzo, and just uh, Fowler. You had Arietta. You had uh, John Lester. You had that pitching staff. Uh, you just had just everyone gelled with. Um, Joe Mann being there as a manager and the environment 
the landscape of the Chicago Cubs organization has changed from being, oh, woe is us, we haven't won a World Series in over 100 years, or we haven't sniffed one, um, to we can actually do this, and we will do it, and we can probably do it multiple years. Uh, I see a like a New York, New York Yankees dynasty building with this team for years to come with the talent that and the players that we have just required over the winter season, uh, winter meetings, uh, John Lackey, uh, Ben, uh, Ben Zorbers from the defending, the defending, uh, world series champion, uh, Kansas city Royals, uh, Jason Haywood Bay. Um, we got a uh, Fowler back, which was a shock to me because I thought he signed a tender, with uh, the Baltimore Oilers, and I guess he didn't accept it, or I don't know what happened. He showed up in spring training, and just wow, he was there, and everyone was just so stoked for him because he is that good of a player, and he uh, just adds to that chemistry of that team. Uh, so Chicago did end up winning that game. Well, they. Well, they won uh, 16 to nothing. They just pure dominated the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, the Cubs are are on the best start in forever that I can remember. That this is the best start in that I can remember. And hopefully, it will still continue on to the throughout the May, June, just throughout the season. And hopefully, our boys in blue uh, will bring home a World Series title at the end of the year. I mean, in uh, October, November. Um, as you know, uh, uh, this past couple of days and the past couple of weeks, it's been kind of hard in the wrestling industry and in the entertainment industry. As you know, last night, uh, the death of Prince has shocked the music industry, which um, I said on Facebook that uh, now Prince is dead. I did not know that until I thought it was his hoax, but he died. And and 2016 has been has not been a great year for a lot of people, uh, mainly for the wrestling industry because a lot of great good people have died. Uh, like Chris and Abel on the Indies. Uh, I like I said on the, my first vlog, uh, v vlog uh, that. Uh, I got to meet him a couple of times, talk to him pretty brief, briefly. Uh, he's an awesome talent. I think he could have been in TNA, WWE. Uh, I, he had the talent. He had the knowledge. And it just sucks that this happened. And uh, I was nothing. I just, I just pray for his family, friends, and colleagues for what they're going through, uh, that they lost a, uh, a good man right there. Uh, China dying the other day, um, another one, uh, this, uh, tremendous talent, just a good hearted person from what people have said. Uh, uh, she went on a, she, like, she had her demons, but you know, she overcame them and she did great things. And, uh, just recently, uh, uh, she was doing the like the tour. She did some stuff with uh, NWA, I think. Uh, for she came in there uh, for autograph signings and stuff like that. And from what people said, she looked really good and re looked positively happy. Um, I just feel that it's just a weird situation now that it's just like with Balls Mahoney as well. I never got to meet him, but I watched his matches. He's such an underrated talent. Everyone thought he was just, oh, he's just all about the hardcore and ultra violence. Uh, no, he can actually, he can wrestle. He's a damn good wrestler. He went toe to toe with Rob Van Dam back in the day in the ECW days, uh, tore the house down. On, uh, he can go with anyone, anybody. And it sucks that he passed away as well and I pray for him and their family and loved ones uh, about their heart their difficult time uh, that they have they are going through uh, other than that um, 
I know there's a lot of things going on in the independent scenes. Uh, a lot of people, uh, everyone's excited about this uh, cruiserweight uh, tournament that's happening for WWE. I know there's some big names on there already. Uh, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with this and who could become a star in this. I mean, there's a lot of star power on the independent scenes and internationally wise. Uh, like Zack Saber, Zack Saber Jr. All over the world, the best technical wrestler. He can do the the British. Uh, he, I think he's one of the best British wrestlers to ever come out in a while. I, I know there's the the, the British wrestlers uh, invasion that it's been coming on. I think you have some great talent coming out. Uh, Marty Scroll, uh, Tommy N from Germany. Um, I mean, you have Bad Bones, who won the uh, boot camp thing for uh, TNA. He was on there for a little bit. Um, I mean, just tremendous. The international pool is getting better and better. And just Zack Sabre Jr. has got this huge opportunity. And I hope nothing but the best for him and everyone that's involved in this cruiserweight uh, title tournament that is going to be held in WWE. Um, so, I hope for the best of all of them. Um, I would like to talk about a couple, like, the independent scene a little bit more because I know a lot of people on the independent scenes, mainly around the Midwest, like uh, Indiana, for instance, since I live in Indiana. I was trained by Billy Rock uh, from the School of Rock in 2010. And, um, it's just so many people now, I think, are getting the fact that we have, uh, Billy has pumped out a lot of great talent in that school, and they're just going to get better and better. Uh, Luke Lawson, uh, Trip Cassie, who's been, uh, been on the scene for, what, six years since uh, he's gotten to be a pretty big name. He's getting to be a big name. Dale Patrick's, uh, let's see here. Percy, Percy Miller, uh, Howdy Loveless, who's been to Japan, been to everywhere pretty much. She's a, a tremendous female wrestler that you have to look at and just say, my God, she's just got the full package. Uh, she's, she wrestled a lot of people. Uh, Kimberly, for instance, they tear the house down most of the time and uh, she's been to Sign, Simmer, uh, Beyond Wrestling a couple times. I know uh, I haven't talked to her personally in uh, for a long time. Uh, I just hope that everything's going good in her life and professionally uh, from one classmate to another. Uh, uh, keep on doing what you're doing and tear the house down. You, you got this. Um, I'm going to keep on saying no, I'm not, my trainer, like Billy, is going to kick my but sometime I gotta learn how to talk <laughs> other than that uh, this um, video I'm gonna have more videos I'm gonna do different things and not only just wrestling MMA and sports uh, I'm gonna talk uh, uh, health more uh, I used to be in pretty good shape I, like I'm not like bad but you know I could be better uh, like I'm going to talk about computers a little bit more. I'm in the IT. I'm trying to. I'm attaining my associates in uh, AAIT with a background in information technology systems through University of Phoenix Online College, uh, which is I start class back up in May 9th. So that's going to take a lot of my time. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to try to do a video every day. Maybe if, like, what I'm thinking is uh, maybe do something serious and then do something sport-wise on a day or two, like, like maybe do a video once and then maybe later in the day do an entirely different thing 
and hopefully the fans can or whoever subscribed or like this can chime in on what they want to hear or just ask any questions about me or whatever I talk about and I can give some answers to what they need um, I want to give a shout out to uh, one of my uh, f uh, friends that uh, well, let me just say a couple of friends. Uh, uh, Stephanie, who is doing her doc, uh, doing something big. I can't thank her enough. Uh, I know we don't talk. Uh, is this? I know she's doing her thing, and I hope everything's going well and where she's at. Uh, Isaac, who has his own YouTube channel. Uh, and it's M Mc Hitman, I think M Mc Mc Hitman or something like that. I forget. I have it on my subscriptions. Um, he's going through a lot, and you know, I've been praying for. I've been thinking about him and his family. His, uh, and I hope everything is going well. And I hope for a speedy recovery for her, for his mother. Um, is he's she's not doing too well, and I don't. I, I, I hope that it's all right that I say something on behalf of him but I understand if he gets mad I apologize but I've been really thinking about it and I know that it's a difficult time for you man and I hope for the best for your family on that note uh, I'm gonna end this on I'm gonna have a couple matches that I'm gonna talk about and if you want to look it up and just take a look uh, go right ahead one is uh, going to be the RVD Balls Mahoney match uh, you can YouTube that or it's probably on WWE Network uh, I've, uh, it's just on the Balls Mahoney uh, uh, thing right now it's, I really think he if you watch that match, he really put himself out there, and I legitimately, excuse me, legitimately thought that he could have beat Van Dam that night for the TV title. Um, just look up uh, Balls Mahoney versus RVD, and another one I'm gonna do is I don't know if this is up yet, but. Just recently in Atlanta for AWE, a promotion out of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Trip Cassidy wrestled Gary J. I think I, I think that's how it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, but I'm gonna give a description when I post this, and and you guys can look it up on YouTube. Uh, Hopefully, it'll be up. I don't know if it is or not. But those are the two matches uh, that I'm going to talk about today. Um, I haven't seen the, the Trip Cassidy, Gary J one from Atlanta. Uh, I've heard just nothing but good stuff about that. And it's showcased uh, both men in what they do. And, and Trip is just becoming more and more better in wrestling. Each and every time he goes out, and I, Trip, I know that we don't really get to talk too much anymore. Just situations beyond my control, and just you're always busy, I'm always busy. But I just want to say, uh, you know, from the time that I met you to seeing you just evolve from what you were to now, is I'm pretty happy. I'm really happy for you. Um, You've been at this since you were 17, 18, and you deserve all the credit in the world that you're getting right now, man. Uh, I have nothing but utmost respect for you. I know there's some times that in the past that you kind of drove me crazy because I was a little bit older and I was like, I was, but it's just like, what are you doing, man? You got this potential and you just, I don't know. It's just, I can understand why you did it back then, now. And now, look at where you're at now. Um, if you see this, uh, I just want to give a shout out to you, Trip. So keep doing what you're doing, man. I'm proud of you. So 
that is it uh, for any new subscribe uh, anyone that is new to the YouTube uh, that's looking for a video to watch uh, click the like button on this or subscribe to my channel uh, greatly appreciate it uh, if you do uh, the more the merrier I don't have anyone yet <laughs> I just started this so uh, and I would like to get some people behind this so uh, I'm gonna come up with a title here soon and hopefully maybe change my my background up a little bit so I think that's it for the night uh, I will probably have one tomorrow too if not it'll probably be in a couple days so uh, this is James Reeves uh, signing out peace